everyone, it's Patty here, and I'm with... Chip! And today, we'll... Talk about our favorite Avatar episodes. So let's get started. Tales of Iroh is an episode where you get to see the behind the scenes of Iroh, as he just goes and buys tea, makes himself a sandwich, and then sits by a tree and grieves over his dead son. It's a really nice and simple episode, and it's a fitting send-off to Mako Iwamatsu. The Avatar Gang watch an earthbending tournament and encounter a powerful earthbender known as the Blind Bandit. We later find out that the Blind Bandit is actually a small blind earthbender named Ta. This episode is very entertaining because we are introduced to a new character who later becomes a part of the Avatar gang, the Aang gang. And uh, she's just spunky, she's funny, and I also enjoy this episode because of one specific character. The boulder! The boulder is ready. The boulder likes to talk in the third person because the boulder is cool. Ooh! This episode is where Avatar and his gang are finding themselves in the Fire Nation with not a hope or a prayer. We get to see Katara steal clothes, Aang join a firebending school, and then all of them try to escape. It's a really cool episode because Katara has always been a mother figure in this, but at this episode we get to really see how she's grown and take a situation into her own hands and make the best out of a bad time. Also, we get to see the other side of the Fire Nation. Get to see how the citizens live their everyday life, and spoiler alert, they're not all evil. This is the episode where Sokka loses his girlfriend because she turns into the moon. This is also that episode where that horrible movie, which we don't speak about loudly, ended. So this is a two-part episode. So Aang and Katara... Um, they go to this water bending teacher. He says, yes, I'll teach you the avatar, but I will not teach Katara because she is a woman and women benders are only made to heal. And Katara's like, cash me Elsa, how about that? I just love how Katara is such a strong character and she's not gonna let anybody tell her what to do. Second part's awesome because of the whole Fire Nation attacking the Northern Water Tribe and there being like this whole fight and then Aang goes like Super Saiyan mode and he just starts going crazy and it's so good. The Cave of Two Lovers is an episode where Avatar and his gang go and try to get to the Earth Kingdom. To get there, they have to go through a tunnel, and it's underground, and it's really sweet and cute because Katara and Aang finally start building their romance. And then, more importantly, above everything else is one specific thing, one little beautiful moment, and it goes, secret tunnel, secret tunnel, through the mountain secret 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 tunnel Aang and the gang befriend an old innkeeper by the name of Hama Katara later discovers that she is hiding a dark secret Hama can bloodbend to save her friends Katara uses bloodbending against Hama This episode is it's very dark. Very, very dark. There have been some other dark episodes, but this one's like super duper dark. Um, we are introduced to this really creepy looking lady who seems very weird, very shady. And we are also introduced to a new type of bending, blood bending. This is the first time we ever see or hear about bloodbending. Katara proves herself. Once again, Katara in facing evil, facing danger in a tough situation. You know, she believes in herself and she 
is able to defeat this lady. Appa's Lost Days is an episode where Appa is stolen and then escapes and is tortured and then hallucinates about his dead siblings due to his malnutrition and stress and then he bites onto a little honeysuckle thing and it's not real but he thinks it's real and it's really sad oh my goodness is it sad this is a kids show right why am I crying anyway I really like this episode because it's a prime example of how to tell a story without dialogue there's four or five spoken lines in this entire episode yet constantly you feel sad you feel sympathetic and it's wonderfully paced wonderfully animated everything about it is great and I love it so much Sokka discovers that the Ember Island players, which are a Fire Nation acting trope, are debuting a play based on Aang and the gang. This episode is legitimately one of my favorite episodes ever. It is hilarious. I love how the actors that are portraying the Avatar gang are like random. Some of them are very random. Like, uh, Aang is played by a woman with a bald cap. Toph is played by some really buff, tall guy. And then the whole thing where they make it seem like Zuko and Katara have a thing for each other. And then like Aang in real life gets like really jealous. It's, it's hilarious. Imagine you're in a world where random people can shoot fire out their butts or move the earth beneath your feet. Now imagine a dude who doesn't have those powers. Seems kind of boring, right? But what if I told you that this dude is a super badass that is so good at sword fighting that he could body any bender out there? That dude's name's Piando, and he is the super boss who teaches Sokka how to be a super boss, and it is based off a real dude who the animators used as reference for all their martial arts, and his name is like Sifu Kisu, and he's a martial artist in the show, and he's great, and this episode is based off of him because he's a real guy, and it gives off some really big Mr. Miyagi vibes, and he takes Sokka, who is a great character, and makes him an even greater character by actually making him useful, and I love it so much. Oh my goodness, you have no idea. This is what got me into martial arts and fighting as a kid. Just this episode, this idea. They have this normal dude, and he's like, hey, that's just a straight up superhero over there. They're magic, literally magic people. And a normal dude can fight on magic people and it's great and I love it. It really gets to the heart of the show where it's not just about being powerful in that show. In Avatar, it's more about being good with the things you have and making the best of what you can. That's a big theme in this show where Sokka who's basically the only male in his tribe he has to become the father figure to all the kids that are around there katara becomes a mother figure they have a bad situation they make the best of it they find avatar who is ang who messed up in the beginning he gets uh told too early that he's the avatar gets too claustrophobic in his own destiny and then runs away and then makes the best out of it afterwards by redeeming himself and building it up and this is a point in the show where we take a previously almost entirely useless character, which is Sokka, who's been feeling bad the entire time, and shows him that no matter how useless you might think you are, you can do something about it. And you can make yourself good. You can change yourself if you want to. It's a great episode. And it's a great show. Everyone should watch it. Watch Avatar. It still holds up today. Aang gets captured by the Fire Nation after trying to find frozen toads for his sick Sokka and Katara. The imprisoned Aang gets rescued by a stranger in a blue mask. After escaping the Fire Nation fortress, Aang discovers that the stranger is in fact Zuko. This was one of those like major plot twists for me. I remember when I first watched this, I was like, what? Zuko, aren't you supposed to be the bad guy? Why are you helping? Why are you helping the Avatar? In the beginning of the series, Zuko's like, just this guy. He's just mean. He's evil. But then you're like, wait, 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 hold up. He's doing something nice? What? And then, you know, as the series progressed, you freaking love him because he's just awesome. But uh, this is 
one of my favorite episodes. There is, the music is awesome. I love the fact that Aang and Zuko like join forces and escape and just the whole escape scene is awesome. They have like little slow motion scenes and I just, it's just awesome. If you want to watch a really good episode, watch this one. Did you like our list? Did you agree with it? Let us know in the comments below and tell us what your top five episodes of Avatar are. If you have suggestions for future videos, leave them there as well. So thanks guys for watching and I'll see you next time.